All right, good morning, my name is Alexa. I'm gonna put you through a really quick mobility video. I know we're feeling tight from staying home all day, so we're gonna get those muscles moving and flowing, that way we feel good and ready to tackle the rest of the day. Um, so some of these movements you will have seen before, they will be familiar. So we're gonna set that mat out uh, and we're just gonna get moving. All you need is your body today. Uh, so first movement, we're gonna have one minute on the clock. We're gonna set those feet hip width apart. We have one deep breath in, we're gonna slightly arch back and then we're gonna exhale and drop into that frog squat. So we got one minute on the clock. Doesn't matter how many or how few you do, dropping it down nice and low, pushing those knees out. So we're finding that stretch, that long torso, and then coming down and releasing the hips, that low back, all of that stuff that's getting a little bit tight. So we're dropping it down low, finding that big deep breath in. So we're still breathing here, we're at that halfway point, feeling strong, dropping it down low. Enjoying the movement. So continuing to breathe here, we want the blood to flow into the muscles, getting that oxygen, making this stretch a little bit more um, successful in recruiting those muscle groups. So we got a couple more strong reps here. One more, and we're gonna hold this last one right here at the bottom, hold it right there. Open up that chest, sitting a little bit deeper, getting those heels onto the floor. Last three, two, one, and release. All right, team, we're gonna take those feet hip width apart. That right leg is gonna step forward so that right heel is in line with the toe. You're gonna turn that toe out, put that hand so it's facing out. When we turn it in, it gets that little internal rotation here. We wanna open up that chest. Then we're gonna reach that arm up, so we're running that hinge, sending that booty to the back. Front leg is straight, back leg is bent. And then we exhale, come all the way back up to standing here. So reaching and lengthening, and then exhale all the way back up. We should feel that whole left side of the body, feeling that deep stretch, sending that hip back all the way back up. So we don't wanna worry about getting um, too low into it because then that posture gets compromised here. We wanna make sure that spine is long, all the way back up and restacking. Good, so making sure we come all the way back up to that neutral position here. We wanna restack that spine, that way we're better to have that posture to carry us throughout the day. Good, continuing to breathe. Maybe getting a little bit deeper, finding a little bit more connection. And rest, good. We're gonna take those feet back to hip width apart. Other leg steps forward, turn it out slightly. Hand is in front, other hand reaches long. Send that hip back, nice long spine. Exhale all the way back up and restack. Reaching and lengthening all the way back up. Good, nice strong core. We're feeling that whole right side of that body, getting a little bit of hip, a little bit of oblique. Go ahead, continuing to breathe. Nice, long spine. Watching out for that posture compromising, sitting up nice and tall. Go ahead, nice, proud chest, shoulders are back and down. There we go, keeping that release. Good. Don't worry about touching the floor. Think about lengthening out of the top of the head, all the way back up. Last one here, and rest. Perfect. So we're gonna step at the edge of the mat here. We have a strong walkout, so we're gonna take a deep breath in. You're gonna reach up long, lifting up out of the hips. Exhale, fold, walk the hands down into that plank, and then walk all the way back. Feel the stretch in the hamstrings of the low back, and then take that deep breath in and reach tall. One minute on the clock here, walking it out. All the way back. Feel that stretch. Lengthen, lift strong. Yes. Good, so we're still warming up the core here. So this is still um, a stability movement. There's still strength in this. We're also getting that hinge from the hips. So we're feeling that low back stretch, the hamstrings, the calves. Nice full body here strength and mobility.
Good, continuing to move through at our own pace. Doesn't matter if you do 10 reps, if you do five reps. Good, so we got our last 10 seconds here, maybe completing one or two more. Three, two, one, and rest. Nice work. All right, so we're moving down to the floor. We're gonna get a little bit of hip movement here. So our feet are gonna kind of sit here in the sideways position. So we should feel a stretch here. The fit, both feet are attached to the floor. They're not gonna move. So hands come behind you. We're gonna keep those feet nice and grounded. We're gonna move through the hips and then switch up other side, feeling that stretch on both hips maybe here. And then rotating, reset, good. So one minute on the clock here, finding that nice hip movement that will move forward. That's okay. Enjoy the stretch. If you want to get it a little bit deeper, a little stretch, a little reach. All right, so it should feel good on the hips, on that low back. If it starts to move a little bit forward, you can always move back. So it should feel really nice on the obliques, especially after using them in that windmill. Good, feeling strong. Maybe getting a little bit deeper into that hip, readjusting the feet to find a different area of focus and stretch. Can we do one more on each side? as I'm coming off my mat here. And release. So coming down onto our mat, starting on our bellies, hands are by the rib cage. Shoulders are back and down. We have one minute of cobra, so we're gonna lift, find the stretch, and then all the way back down. So if you're a little bit tighter, you can take it onto the elbows, lift into that sphinx, and then control all the way back down here. So exhaling up, sweet discomfort all the way back down. So we don't want to feel this too intense on the low back. We want to keep it kind of soft. So if it's better for you to just come up halfway and then lower back down, totally fine. Listening to your body and what works best for you. Okay, drawing the belly button in, feeling that stretch, shoulders back and down, watching out for sitting into it here. We want to really open up and lengthen. So feeling that stretch in the low back, stretch in the abs. When you're ready, adding a little twist, look over that right shoulder, and then come back to the center and release. Then lift, looking over that left shoulder, back to the center, and release. Continue to breathe here, opening up, lengthening out that spine. So we got two more here, one on each side. When you finish that next one, we're gonna take toes together, knees out, finding that child's pose, dropping that head to the floor, releasing that low back, counteracting what we just worked. So rolling back up into seated. Now we're gonna move into a hamstring and hip flexor stretch. So that right leg is gonna come forward. We're gonna push that left hip down, so we should feel that stretch in that left hip here. Then we're gonna push back, open up that front hamstring here. So moving through at your own pace, pushing, reevaluating, opening up that hip, and then sending it back. So some of you might be up here, some of you might be a little bit lower. I'm not that flexible in my hips, so my stretch isn't as um, intense as some others um, might be. So just continuing to push through. Breathing, letting that oxygen reach to the muscles to make this stretch a little bit more beneficial. Good, so we're moving through, maybe getting a little bit deeper each time. Good, so don't worry, we are gonna add to this one. Good, can we get one more of each on this side? And switch. So left leg is in front, right leg is on the floor. Pushing that hip forward, stretching out that right hip flexor, and then sending it back, opening up that left 
hamstring here. Good, continuing to breathe. Holding or moving through that stretch as fast or as slow as feels comfortable, listening to your body. Stretching is something that I definitely need to work on. I've always been kind of tight. I couldn't touch my toes until like four years ago, three years ago. And I'm an adult. It's kind of gnarly. Breathing. Good. Can we do one more of each on this side? Good. When you finish that one, taking it into, I'm going to show you two different options here. So option one is going to start in child's pose. You're going to roll forward one vertebrae at a time into a plank, and then you're going to tuck your chin, roll all the way back here. Your second option is going to be to start in a plank, send it back to a loaded beast. You're going to tuck the hips under, roll, 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 plank it out, tuck the chin, roll, 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 and then loaded beast it out. We got one minute on the clock, picking whichever one is best for you. Sending it back, Rolling and then planking, tucking the chin, rolling and then back. So this one should also feel good on the low back, all the way through, separating the vertebra all the way back into that plank. Always an option to move between the two on your knees, on your toes, whichever one works best for you, your body today. We got two more reps here. One more. And rest. So taking a seat really quick, rolling out those ankles, finding or that wrist here, finding a release. On um, your last stretch here, uh, we're gonna do 45 seconds on each side, and that'll take us right to the end. So we're gonna start in a high plank, right foot steps forward by the right hand, open up to that right side of the room. Exhale, right elbow to the floor, and then step it back, and again, step it forward, big rotation, elbow to the floor, and then send it back and reset. We got 45 seconds on the clock, big step. Now option, take your knee to the floor, totally fine. So we're getting that movement in the hip, big circle, big open, back to the center, and then reset. To make it a little bit harder, Going up on that toe, totally fine. Nice, strong core. You can move between the two. We got one more on this side. Making sure that elbow's coming to the floor. And then we're gonna switch. Left leg, big step, big rotation, elbow to the floor, send it back, and again. Big step, big rotation, elbow to the floor, and then reset your options. Stay on the knees, big step, rotate. Still working on that hip mobility, on that mobility in the torso. Good. Continuing to breathe. Maybe getting a little bit deeper into that hip stretch. Bigger on that rotation. Lower into that elbow drop. Last one here. Send both feet back into that plank. Walk your hands back to your toes. Hang on that forward fold. Grabbing onto your elbows. Gently rocking side to side. Release the arms. Shaking your head yes and no, releasing that tension in the head, neck, and shoulders. Tuck the hips under one vertebrae at a time. 
When you reach the top, one deep breath in. Exhale, release. Give yourselves a hand. Nice work, you guys. You're ready to tackle the day. Um, any questions, please feel free to message me. Um, have a great day. I'll see you guys tomorrow.